My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, this is pretty simple. Let me just look at my notes. Find the Skooma Lab at Brittleshin Pass and kill the Skooma Cook who has been supplying the dealer at Rift Watch Tower. So this is a mission. I don't know where I actually picked this up. It was a note that I found somewhere. Uh-oh. Something's here. Someone. These Dawn Guard again. Pay a visit. Thought there were three of them. Ah. Really, you're gonna try to flank me. takes care of that. But I might have to pay a visit to Isran. I don't know why there's a sudden resurgence of Dawn Guard. Let me feed. There, I always want my blood potions to be well stocked. All right, let's go on inside here and see what's going on. Nothing like a nice diversion at a meal before we get down to the real business at hand. All right, let me not get overconfident. Who's this? All right, as usual, my weapon needs to be recharged. with the steel bolts, but I think I want to add a little special something. A little poison.
don't know the strength strength of this person ah no strength at all a necromancer of course Somehow, though, I don't think this is my intended prey. Hmm, only an apprentice. try to get my poison back. It was wasted on him. Mm, I hear creaking of bones. All right, then. Skooma supplies. Skeletons, interesting. Let me make sure I loot this place thoroughly. It's interesting, two enchanting tables. chest. I think that's all of the skeletons. All right, I see it's booby-trapped, but I can't. There. Hmm. All of that for two gold. thought about bringing a companion along, but I think it would have been a waste of their time. Really. Yes, I think this is the exit. Quite a simple task. What do we have over here? OK. 
Okay, there's a small town there. It looks like a... A standing stone. Might as well find out what it is since I'm in the area. The Lady Stone. Lunar Familia, under the sign of the Lady Stone, have a spirit companion that appears in battle to fight for them. Premonition. They sense when an enemy is capable of a killing blow and may retaliate with decisive force. All right. That's nice. Let's just go over here and discover this little little Vivek. is part of some other quest that I have yet to encounter. All right, let's go back to Jesse. Few native Help sons of the reach that owns land. Doesn't make me very popular. How it retains so much water. Hello, Jesse. What's the plan? What's you, the word? You tell me. All right. The Skuma operation has been eliminated. Easy money. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, since you're here, and since I'm here, let's see what else you, you're up to. I know you were trying to make some sort of a drug that was, what, better than skooma? Less addictive? Do you have any special projects? Sure, what do you have in mind? Oh, really? Take down Maven Blackbriar? Well, I'd love to do that, but... I am the... the guild master of the Thieves' Guild. I don't know if I want to bring down my own guild. Hmm... Maybe this. Make a drug delivery and battle the Thalmor. Here's the deal. This guy named Dylan placed a drug order with me. But instead of him picking it up, he wants me to deliver it to him. Up at the Talos Shrine in Valkyries. Alright. Seems kind of sketchy to me. And I've heard those Talos Shrines, well, that they're calling with Thalmor agents. Do you mind checking it out for me? Not a problem. And yes, you're right. Those shrines usually are... monitored, shall we say, by the Thalmor. Cool. I'll mark the location on your map. Please. No. Of all times, hey. elf lives matter. Hmm. <laughs> of all times... Need something? to get a mission with that name. All right, let's go. I suppose I should stop saying let's go since I'm 
alone. Alright, let's check the map. I'm so used to having someone with me and talking to them that it's just odd talking to myself. Why am I not seeing this? Here it is. All right, we'll head to the Guardian Stones then. All right, Bandit. See if we can't find this Dylan. Hmm, here's someone running now. see Thalmor already. All right. You get to safety. Dispatched. And I'm a little bit thirsty after that. <laughs> this Dylan. Right, Bandit, you were supposed to go into cover. He's dead. A Talos worship letter. Dylan, I heard you guys were gonna score some drugs and hang out at the Falkreath Shrine. Careful, I've learned that those little Thalmor Justicars like to hang out around there. When you're done, you should come hang out with us at the Talos Shrine by the lake, just east of Cradle Crush Rock and south of Gallows Rock. We're gonna pull the most epic Thalmor prank ever. Even better than the outhouse tipping. Yes. Someone has quite the sense of humor. Well, it's too bad about this Dylan. I never got a chance to, to know him, speak with him, talk with him. Maybe you should rise one final time. Ha 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 ha.
Welcome back. I'm sorry about your untimely end. All right. Where is this other shrine? I'll just go here to Raven Scorn. At last. What? All right, was there anything else? Oh, okay, that at last was the Dylan. He must have expired. This is odd. What is this sparkling? Not accustomed to seeing this. Interesting. Is this a new sense or power that I've developed? Oh look, it's Dylan. Your journey is not over. Okay. Should be able to go through the woods here. the shrine, but I don't see anybody. Hmm. Don't tell me you mimicked my own abilities and jumped up here. Just a Kosh hero. Who would have killed the Jesticar? Ellen Wynn. Jesticar Shapiro. Over the past year, we've been keeping tabs on a group of degenerates here in Skyrim who called themselves the Shield of Talos. This group's activities were previously confined to pranks and nuisances, mostly drawing fallacies on our embassy walls and hurling flaming poop bags over the fences at us. But recently, the situation has escalated. They have obtained a race-based spell, which appears to affect only high elves, making our agents turn on each other and fight to the death. Our agent, Ancano, at the College of Winterhold is attempting to track down the source of the spell. He suspects the perpetrator may be operating out of the Midden, but hasn't uncovered any solid leads yet. All we know at present is that these phallus drawing poop hurlers like to hang out at the Talus Shrines and get high. I need you to stake out the Talus Rhines across Skyrim, hunt down these degenerates, and exact any intel you can before killing them. Ellen Wynn. <laughs> so, who killed Justicar Shapiro, I wonder? Didn't seem like these pranksters were murderers. All right, Dylan. Saw a chest over here. It 
So, a spell... ...that puts the Thalmor into a frenzy. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see what's next on our... ...list. All right, to the College of Winterhold. Okay, I don't think Dylan made the trip this time. no telling what surprises await me down here. One thing that this Ellenwyn didn't know, though, is that Ancano has been destroyed. footsteps. What? Dylan? <laughs> that was quite a surprise. Malcolm Elfbane Diary. Huh. So Malcolm is here at the college. Enough is enough. I'm done with the Thalmor meddling, the persecution and their superiority streak. Until that Thalmor bastard showed up, I thought the College of Winterhold would be the one place I could perform research in peace. When I started working on the spell which became Elfbane, I was only trying to engineer a spell to increase empathy in High Elves. I see now where my formula went wrong, but the end result, arguably, has a far more important use. The spell triggers a panic reaction when a High Elf subject is hit with it. The panic lasts approximately 15 seconds after which subject experiences an adverse reaction to anything touching their skin and shortly after they fly into an uncontrollable fit of rage. I've found a group of teenage pranksters willing to test out the Elfbane spell on a wider pool of Thalmor test subjects. The Shield of Talos, they call themselves. I'm curious to hear their findings. In the meantime, I will continue my Elfbane research here in the Midden, away from the prying eyes of Arcano or Ancano or whatever that creepy Thalmor guy's name is. Well, I hope you've put your head up. Just enough to know that Ancano is dead. All right. I suppose I must take this spell. All right, and here's some restoration robes that can be sold. All right, Dylan. I suppose. 
suppose we can find the quickest way out of here. So, wherever that was we ended up, we're back at the college. So, are, am I going to meet this Malcolm? Apparently so, who's been hidden away for all this time. Is he upstairs? Here. I don't recognize you at all. Hi there. Need something? Yes. I need to speak with you. You must be Malcolm. I found your spell book. That's it. Are you Malcolm? Uh-oh. You weren't supposed to find that. I hid it in the midden for a reason. So, this Elfbane spell targets just High Elves and makes them go crazy. <sighs> yes. You aim the spell at a High Elf and hit them with it. They'll flee in terror for about 15 seconds, drop their gear, and then start beating the ever-living crap out of each other until they die. <laughs> I could see how useful that spell would be. And your followers have been using this spell to bait and kill Thalmor agents? Yes, that's the basic idea. The Thalmor actively monitored the Talo shrines around Skyrim to root out worshippers, so we figured that was the best place to start. But the spell works on all High Elves, even non-Thalmor. Well, yes. As much as I'd like to, it's not possible to develop a spell that targets political affiliation. <laughs> Racial profiling is the only way to make the spell work against the intended targets. Wow. But isn't that a bit, you know, racist? Well, first of all, in case you haven't noticed, pretty much everybody in Skyrim is completely racist. And that's regardless of what race you are. Second, the spell doesn't work on Dark Elves or Wood Elves. It only targets High Elves. And third, we're not using the spell against peaceful High Elves. We're only using it to kill Thalmor, who also happen to be High Elves. And how is that not racist? Just because something has the potential to be used in a racist way doesn't mean it will. You wouldn't ban swords because someone can decide to use them only against orcs. Look, people are responsible for their own actions. And at the end of the day, spells don't kill people. People do. But what happens when the spell inevitably falls into the wrong hands? Why do you think I hid the spell tome in the midden, genius? If I could find it, I wouldn't exactly call it hidden. There has to be a less destructive way to deal with the Thalmor. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as a non-violent revolution. The Thalmor have made their views on racial superiority clear. They want to either enslave or wipe out mankind. And occupying Skyrim is the first step towards achieving that end. And committing a preemptive genocide is the best way to prevent it. I'd be all for a less radical approach. 
but not if it means that we continue postponing a solution to the Thalmor problem just to avoid violence. When the acts we're committing are ultimately in self-defense, I don't even call it violence. I call it intelligence. And what does the non-Thalmor portion of the High Elf community think of this? We've tried reaching out to non-Thalmor leaders in the High Elf community, but the response is always the same. The Thalmor are extremists and don't represent the views of the majority of peaceful High Elves. And then they do nothing to police their own community. Look, Elfbane may not be the perfect solution, but at a minimum, it gives peaceful High Elves a stronger incentive to start standing up to the Thalmor. So, what is your end goal in all this? Simple. To drive the Thalmor out of Skyrim by any means necessary. Including terrorism and genocide. If you want to drive out an occupying army, you have to raise the costs of the occupation to an unacceptable level. And I suppose you want my help with this. Well, you are the Dragonborn. N no, if you're willing no, I'm to not. Your cause, I'm not going to say no. You got a list of shrines to ambush or something. Of course. I'll mark the locations on your map. So, hypothetically, how would this work? It's pretty simple. Head to a Talos shrine, make a bit of noise, and wait for the Thalmor to show up. When they do, use the Elfbane spell, and then watch them beat each other to death. <laughs> I, I... I honestly have a problem with this idea. If I wanted the Thalmor dead, I would just kill them myself. It seems like such a waste to use this spell to watch them kill each other. But I see. There's a deeper racial... I don't know what I would call it. Issue here that you're trying to expose. Anyhow, I don't know. I'll think about it. Will you be here when I return? No. I need to find a safer place to hide out. If you were able to find me, the Thalmor won't be far behind. This will be the last time we speak. I hope you'll do the right thing, friend. You know, my gut is telling me that I should kill him. He's at the heart of this problem. I'll need to think on it. <laughs> 